An update, 10 year old girl being handcuffed by Sacramento PD. Officials are outraged by this. Here's the video. Probation search, open the door. Sacramento Police, probation search, open the door. This is not one of those ones that bends in the middle. No, it's actually this one. That's been open. Just cover that one, Grant. I got it. Two more times. Hi, can you unlock this, please? Can you open this screen door? It's the police department. Can you open this? Hey, hey Sacramento Police Department, come to the door. Come to the door. Can you open this, man? Come to the door right now. Listen, we're gonna kick the door down, and we don't want to do that. Come to the door right now. Open the door. I'm a baby. Open the you're door. You're not a baby if you're not listening. Open the door. Come outside. Come outside right now. Who is here? You're going Who is here? here? There's another one in here. Mama, no, you don't get to go and hide and turn off the lights. That's not how this works. Okay, but you're going to be the team to take us. Because you're not listening. I'm scared. Why are you running and hiding? I'm scared. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. How old are you? 10 years of age, a baby, the baby said, I'm a baby, put up the picture. Let me give you the background and update. The Sacramento Police Department, the Sacramento Police Department is facing a backlash after video of a 10 year old black child, a little girl being handcuffed during a raid in 2022, it is now it has now resurfaced. Body camera footage from the Sacramento Police Department shows the child in red and black pajamas being handcuffed <clears throat> while she's crying out for her mommy. The officers were reportedly conducting a probation raid in connection with a stolen car and firearms, according to Sacramento Police investigations. It's unclear if the suspect was connected to the home or not. In the video, three white male officers bang on the front door and windows and demand the girl to open the door. Two of them then pulled on the iron grills on the security door, seemingly in an effort to break it off. The girl appears hesitant, but eventually follows their direction. Quote, I'm a baby. The girl can be heard saying when she opens the door, you're not a baby if you're not listening, one of the officer replies. The second officer yells, come outside right now. You don't get to go and hide and turn off the lights. That's not how this works. Remember, 10 year old child. The teary eyed girl is then immediately handcuffed by one of the officers while the other officer starts to search the home. Quote, I'm scared, I'm scared, mommy, she cries. I'm scared, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. The interaction was detailed in an adult conducted, in an audit conducted, excuse me, by the Office of the Public Safety Accountability. According to multiple reports, the audit included 100 complaints of improper search and seizure against Sacramento police officers. The mother of the 10 year old also submitted a formal complaint, but guess what? It was dismissed according to the audit. Let's put up the chief of police. Police chief Kathy Lester said, and I quote, we are certainly aware of the trauma and impacts that something like this, like that, and in an interaction with police can have on our community. I can assure you that we will conduct outreach to the family and see what we can do to make it better. 
She also added that the department will work on policy to prevent similar occurrences. There is no circumstance, the chief says, where it's okay to handcuff a 10 year old girl, regardless of race. Lester said in the council meeting on June 20th. Let me bring up the why, heart of the why. Research shows that black children are often treated differently by police compared to children of other races due to implicit biases. Stereotypes and preconceptions about black children along with disproportionate policing in majority minority communities contribute to the targeting and harsher treatment they experience. OPSA director Letitia Watson said the mother of the girl in the video told her the 10 year old is now afraid of the police. See how the cycle starts, see how it happens. You see why it is required that we have the talk with our black children. Who would not be afraid? When something like that is at your front door. I know grown people who would have been hesitant to open the door out of fear, not because they're hiding anything. And there's no indication whatsoever that this child nor anyone else in the home was trying to hide. It was simply bedtime, that is it. And typically when there is a probation raid, there's also an investigation to understand who's in the household. So that you are aware if children are there. For them to treat this 10 year old child as if this 10 year old child is a grown person trying to harm them cannot be tolerated. Unfortunately, it is. Now you will hear politicians and even the police chief say, harsh words, but this 10 year old child had a harsh experience. We should not allow things just because they are technically permissible based on their standards. It is not permissible based on ours. And at the end of the day, we are the ones, citizens, people that pay taxes. We are the ones who fund that entire operation. It is time out, time out for us literally funding our own oppression. This is what your lawmakers should be presenting solutions. This is where remedy can be implemented. But instead they give you red meat. They argue about cultural things that really cannot be changed by policy. While at the same time, ignoring the values that you present Ignoring the 10 year old child who had that experience. Sharon, thoughts here? Well, because they saw the little girl as a, not a girl or not a baby, but a slick black mm. pre woman is what they saw her as. Mm. It's disgusting, and so are they. And I don't want to hear this seemingly well intentioned chief say two things. I don't want to ever hear it again. Regardless of race, when race is, as you eloquently pointed out, Dr. Ritchie, the crux of the matter. And number two, I don't want to hear her talk about new policy. We don't need new policy. We need people who care and see no. people as human beings. It's not about That's new right. policy. You can't write enough policy. That's right, especially when the culture eats that policy alive. Mm -hmm.